the way it works is just for starters CaCO3 so calcium is 40 carbon is 12 and oxygen is 3 times 16 so when you add that up it gives you 100 grams per mole sometimes I also use 100 instead of grams per mole I use pounds per pound mole because I'm dealing with the pounds then I want to use pounds so not uncommon to see that or even kilograms per kilo mole so just make sure you are okay to use any unit necessary in the given problem So an example here, if a water contains 20 milligrams per liter of bicarbonate as a substance and 40 milligrams per liter of carbonate as a substance, what is the alkalinity? So in this case, we have two ions and they're asking us what is alkalinity. Alkalinity is the sum of your negative ions in the water typically carbonates and bicarbonate the trick here is to remember that this HCO3 is the bicarbonate even though it says bi there is no two thing in there right but HCO3 minus is a bicarbonate and CO3 minus 2 is the carbonate ion so here the bicarbonate is 20 milligrams per liter and carbonate is 40 milligrams per liter. Now these are expressed as a substance and like I said one way to add them together is to either convert them to equivalent bases or we add them as a calcium carbonate. So here we are interested in expressing it in the alkalinity as a calcium carbonate. So let's see how do we do that. Two ways to do it. I'll show you both ways. And you can pick and choose what you like. What I do is I typically set up the proportion. I know milligram per liter as a substance divided by milligrams per liter as calcium carbonate is equal to equivalent weight of substance over equivalent weight of calcium carbonate which is 50. So in our given example we have 20 milligrams per liter as a HCO3 and I'm interested in the concentration as calcium carbonate so the equivalent weight of bicarbonate ion HCO3 I need to calculate that I know it's a 61 but just so we know how to get it 1 plus 12 plus 48 which gives me 61 and charge is minus 1 on this so equivalent weight is 61 over 50 and then I get the value of x 50 times 20 divided by 61 so it gives me 16.4 milligrams per liter as calcium carbonate this is for HCO3 minus and same thing I would do for the carbonate ion. For a carbonate, I have the milligrams per liter as 40 divided by, let's say Y, the equivalent weight of carbonate is going to be, in this case, 30 over 50 because molecular weight of carbonate is 60 
but then the charge is 2, so I divide by 2. And then I get the y value as 50 times 40 divided by 30. And that gives me 66.7. So the total alkalinity is the bicarbonate plus carbonate, which is I get 83.1 milligrams per liter as calcium carbonate. So that's one way to do it. If you are okay with the calculating molecular weight and equivalent weight and so on, just set up a ratio milligrams per liter as substance divided by milligrams per liter as calcium carbonate equal to equivalent weight of substance over 50 and then solve for it. The other way to do it is in the reference manual we have the appendix 